kita You saw him drink it right in front of you, but you couldn't confirm he actually did it. So maybe there's another possible. What? Are you possible? There is no other possibility! I killed Kaito! You're the one who's wrong. He died from my poison arrow. There's no other possibility. What do you know? I killed Kaito! You're the one who's wrong. He died from my poison arrow. There's no other possibility. What do you know? I killed Kaito! You're the one who's wrong. It doesn't matter what you say. I'm telling you, this is the truth! But you keep getting in the way. You're so goddamn annoying. It doesn't matter what you say. I'm telling you, this is the truth! But you keep getting in the way. I was at the scene. So I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. I wanted to believe I didn't kill him. But I won't run away from the truth anymore. Because I know what I saw. I was at the scene. No, I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. I wanted to believe I didn't kill him. But I won't run away from the truth anymore. Because I know what I saw. I was at the scene. So I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. I wanted to believe I didn't kill him. But I won't run away from the truth anymore. Because I know what I saw. I was at the scene. So I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. I wanted to believe I didn't kill him. But I won't run away from the truth anymore. Because I know what I saw. I was at the scene. So I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. 
I saw Kokichi drink the antidote. I was at the scene. So I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. I wanted to believe I didn't kill him. I saw Kokichi drink the antidote. Tended to drink the antidote. It ends here. I... Kokichi just pretended to drink the antidote. He didn't actually drink it. He pretended? Drinking the antidote was part of his lie. Maki could only see so much through the window. She didn't confirm Kokichi drank it. I believe that Kokichi knew this and just pretended to drink the antidote. After Maki left, he gave the antidote. There's a strong possibility that all of this was done to make Kaito cooperate. Make him cooperate? The swapping trick required the victim and culprit to work to Kaito's cooperation was essential to Kokichi's point. However, I don't think Kokichi would be able to sway Kaito easily. He needed leverage. He gave Kaito the antidote in exchange. In exchange for his own life, you mean? Kaito had no choice. He had to cooperate after Kokichi saved his life. That's just Kaito's character. And Kokichi knew that. He swallowed his pride with the antidote and agreed to participate. But didn't Kokichi make this plan? What good is it for him if he's dead? I imagine this was all part of Kokichi's plan to con- You wouldn't think that someone would plan their own murder. He went so far as to give up his life just to create this mess. Only Kokichi could think of something so nefarious. Who else would agree to die just to execute their plan? He's crazy. Why would he go that far? I bet Kokichi was determined to beat me at my own game, no matter what. But too bad! Shuichi figured- Are you sure it's not delu- Delusion? A delusion completely off the mark. To make you think that I- But who cares what you guys think? This is between me and Monokuma. I don't give a crap if the extras in this game get it right or not. Extras? I'm fine with being an extra. Huh? Why? If we're just extras, then even if we get it wrong, we won't get killed. No, I'd still kill you all. Don't put Kokichi's words in my mouth. Huh? But why? You are being so friendly with us. If Monokuma gets it right, then he takes everyone's lives, yeah? But if Monokuma gets it wrong, then he'd have no right to take everyone's lives. If Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is, then this killing game can't. Can't function anymore. you're cooperating with this plan you must have a reason to determine that reason i need to reveal the truth I still think kaito is the culprit thinking of it that way makes all the peace i will show you the truth the truth what do i have the only antidote what is this after receiving the item from himiko the culprit Blood, next hole inside the hangar, Electro Bomb. Who did Maki hit with the Electro Hammer? Hit the extra soul. Where did the culprit shoot Kokichi? Antidote, Electro Bomb, Trail of Blood. Well, I opened the shutter and got inside the hangar. Who was hit by the first arrow? Who was hit by the second arrow? On the antidote. After Maki left, what weapon did Kokichi take out? The Electro Bomb? True Blood. Who was actually who actually drank the 
What evidence did the culprit leave in the bathroom? Well, I was going to get you dragged along the ground. Who was put up? Who was put in the electric hydraulic chamber first? Who was put press last? What evidence did the culprit flush down the toilet? in the press assembled the crossbow comfort in the press drink the antidote Yep, this one. Three arrows. Kokichi's back. Kokichi's right arm. Kokichi's clothes flushed down the toilet. The culprit's left arm. Oh wait, what? Oh, I read that wrong. Three arrows. This is the truth of the case. Let's go over the trick that Kokichi and the culprit created together. Last night, Kibo saw Himiko from the window of his lab. She was carrying a black case and heading to the Exosil hangar. When she reached the hangar, she handed the case to someone through the bathroom window. That someone is the culprit of this locked in the bathroom. The culprit had asked Himiko to bring them a certain weapon. A disassembled crossbow from Maki's lab. The culprit is going to use the crossbow to ch Some time passed, and Maki made her way to the hangar. She was going to the hangar to kill Kokichi and save the culprit trapped in the bathroom. However, the hangar had an electric barrier preventing her from... Fortunately for her, she had an electro hammer to get around the barrier. She used her electro hammer to disable an exosol. She knew exosols could bypass the barrier, so she got inside. Around that time, the culprit and Kokichi began their confrontation. While Kokichi was checking up on them, the culprit ambushed him with a crop, but the culprit didn't intend to kill Kokichi. They just wanted to disable. That's why the culprit aimed for Kokichi's. If they really wanted to kill him, they would have shot him in his vitals. Kokichi reeled from the arrow 
and the culprit jumped on him immediately. He didn't want Kokichi to have the chance to summon an exorcist. While they were fighting, something happened that caught them both off guard. The shutter of the hangar opened, and an exosol. Kokichi was definitely not expecting an exosol to interrupt them. He pulled out his remote in an attempt to control the exosol. But Maki leaped out of the cockpit and shot Kokichi with a crossbow. The arrow hit Kokichi right in the back. And it was the tip was covered in a lethal poison from my lap, Pulse. The poison kills slowly. It seems as if Maki wanted Kokichi to confess before he died. But even with poison in his veins, Kokichi continued to spin his lies. When she had had enough, Maki tried to finish him off with another poisoned arrow. But this time, Maki was the one caught by surprise. To keep Maki from becoming the black hand, the culprit used their body to shield Kokichi. The culprit's left arm was struck by a poison. And Maki remembered that there was an antidote in my lap and immediately ran off to get it. The Strike Nine poison slowly circulated through their systems and would soon kill them. But in that desperate situation, Kokichi thought up he incorporated this unforeseen event into his plan to help. Or should I say, Help if that was Kokichi's true objective. Thinking fast, Kokichi closed the shutter so that Maki could not re-enter the hangar. Thus, Kokichi's final lie was set into motion. When Maki returned with the antidote, so she went around to the hangar bathroom and passed the antidote through the window. After the culprit was given the antidote, Kokichi immediately snatched it. Kokichi drank down all of the antidote while the culprit and Maki watched. Maki must have been panicking, thinking the only antidote was now gone. She believed that the culprit was going to die from her own, but it was all another one of Kokichi's lies. Maki tried desperately to break into the hangar, even slashing the control panel. But she couldn't get the shutter to open again. Defeated, she had no choice. After Maki had left, Kokichi took out another weapon. An electrobar, capable of disabling communication to... Kokichi's plan was to use an electrobar to knock out Monokum. That was why he commissioned Mew to make the bombs in the first... After detonating an electrobar, Kokichi coerced the culprit into drinking the antidote. In exchange for the antidote, Kokichi asked the culprit to cooperate with his plan. Kokichi needed to work with the culprit to execute his final lie. Under normal circumstances, the culprit would never have agreed to such a plan, but because the culprit owed him for saving their life, they agreed to Kokichi's request. Ah, request is a generous term. It was more like blackmail. In any case, the two were now working together as accomplices in an insane plan. There was a lot to prepare and not a lot of time. They had to work fast. If Kokichi died from the Strike Nine poison, the whole plan would be ruined. After fabricating the scene in the bathroom, the cl This is how the swipe pattern bloodstain from the bathroom to the press was created. Kokichi, with the support of the culprit, stood in front of the press's control panel. The two of them were finally ready to execute the insane lie. While Kokichi was setting up the video camera near the hydraulic press's control, 
The culprit laid face up inside the press, draping their co- Then, Kokichi activated the press and the camera's record button at the same time. The hydraulic press came down slowly, all caught on tape for us to see. Normally, the safety function would have triggered, but the electrobomb had disabled it. The press got lower and lower, and just as the culprit disappeared from view, Kokichi pressed the force stop button and the camera's pause button simultaneously. The two then switched places and also switched roles. The culprit and the victim. The would-be victim became our culprit and started up the press and camera. Kokichi had saved the culprit's life because his trick required their cooperation. He wanted to win the killing game, even if it meant dying himself. And so, Kokichi was crushed by the press, and the whole thing was caught on video. The culprit's left sleeve was dangling from the press, making us think he was the victim. Now alone, the culprit collected the video camera and tore the hydraulic press's power cord so that it could never be raised again. This would make it impossible for us to determine the identity of the crushed body. But there was another reason the victim was killed in this way. It obfuscated the cause of death, making the case that much more difficult to solve. This was all part of Kokichi's plan to create a murder not even Monokuma could fit. With the press disabled, the culprit returned to the bathroom to flush Kokichi's clothes. Finally, they climbed inside of an exosaw to hide and waited with bated breath. And here they are now in this truck. They're trying to deceive Monokuma in order to defeat the true mastermind. And that's it. That's Kokichi's unidentified culprit. The culprit is in that exosol. It's you. It's Kaito Momota. The... I'm right, aren't I? That's you in there, isn't it, Kaito? Really? Is... I must reluctantly agree with Shuichi's deduction. Man! Shuichi sure loves his crazy deduction! Huh? Admit it, but it's wrong. But logically speaking, his deduction tracks. If it's really Kaito in there, he would have admitted it by now. Was wrong somehow? No, my deduction detective work was flawless. It's the truth. I'm sure that Kaito is inside that ex. So why is Kaito still fighting for m fighting me? Is it about Monokuma, or is there another aspect to this? Everything is set, and that's it. You don't have any evidence, do you? You all think the body was switched when the hydraulic press stopped. But that's just speculation in the end. No evidence, so if we reverse our reverse way of thinking, it's totally possible that the body switching never happened. Not just possible. It's true. There's no proof that the bodies were No, we should trust Shuichi's deduction. I'm sure everything will be okay. This emotion I've learned, I believe you call it faith. That's what I feel right now. That's right. We have to believe in Shuichi. Well, I don't care either way. But if you guys get it wrong, you'll have to deal with Monokuma. What will the results of this be if Monokuma makes a mistake? He won't be able to execute anyone. Then it will be my victory. And that will ruin the entire... Good. I see, so that's your objective. 
You mean to ruin the killing game itself. That's why Kaito has been so stubborn all this time. But what does he mean by ruin exactly? Monokuma can do whatever he wants to the rules. How do you ruin something like that? What would be the point? I'm saving here just in case. Now I know the truth, the whole truth, and why. I believe in my own logic, and I believe in Kaito. From this point on, it's not about logic, it's about how far I'm willing to go. I believe in Kaito, not as a detective, but as Shuichi Saihara. Uh, can I just say something? I'd like to have one last conversation before we vote. Hmm? One left, there's more to talk. You see, before we vote, there's something I have to say. I just need you all to listen. All right, let's pin this down. Who is inside that exosaw? Hmm? Kaito, right? That's what you said, isn't it? Kokichi's the one who died. All right, let's pin this down. Who is inside that exosaw? Hmm? Kaito, right? That's what you said, isn't it? Kokichi's the one who died. And the culprit is Kaito standing right there. Isn't that correct? <laughs> of course not! I would never die! I trust Shuichi! I see, so that's what I need to do. I need to lie. Who is inside that exosaw? Hmm? Kaito, right? That's what you said, isn't it? Kokichi's the one who died. I'll leave right you here. Kokichi, I'm sorry. I just can't lie for you, what? What do you mean? Why did you say Kokichi? The one in the egg? I'm so sorry, everyone. I need to see. Huh? The truth is, after we found the crushed body... You suck! Yes. He threatened me, told me that if I didn't do what he said, he'd kill us all. He wanted me to lie about what I saw, so that the trial would be more interesting. But I can't do it anymore. I can't keep lying. I have to tell the truth. Kokichi isn't dead. Oh, hold on! Why did you wait until now? I'm so sorry, Kibo, but it's true. Really? I really am sorry, but this is the only way. Kaito is trying to fool Monokuma, trying to ruin the class trial. If Kaito is risking his life to do this, then I'll stand by him. I believe in Kaito. I will believe in what he's trying to do. He's not doing this to hurt us. I'm sure he's trying to save us all. Monokuma wants to rely on my de detective work. Fine, I'll just lie. Everyone, please. Don't vote for Ka There's no doubt about it. Kokichi is in that exosaw. He's the... Hey, Shuichi. I don't know what you're speaking, but as far as I'm concerned, you guys are extra. If you guys are wrong, you're gonna have to take your punishments like champ. I'm not wrong. 
We can't vote for Kaito. Stop it. That's enough. Huh? It's over. If you guys get it wrong and Monokuma gets it right, then you'll all get punished. There's no way I can let that happen, so it's... Can you control it for a bit? No. I'm the one who killed Kokichi. I don't know. Just like you to figure it all out, Shuichi. You're really something else. So all you gotta do is believe in your reasoning. That's what this is. Hey, Monokuma, let's hurry up and get this. <laughs> well said. The heart racing excitement as the. <laughs> I'm gonna save it and get off for a little bit.